So hello, everybody. We are so sorry for the delay. We are worth the wait. <laughs> Nate says, worth the wait, guaranteed, or your free entry will be refunded. <laughs> uh, we are so sorry we this weird glitch happens and i think it's like it's either zoom or youtube has some kind of weird thing that happens i think when it when it gets overloaded this happened one time before and it wouldn't work for me or paul um and so anyway we were coming up with a backup plan and then it started working so um yay we're here um so this is the power hour and we are here every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Um, Eastern time to talk about different topics to help you on your journey with marketing mindset and whatever else, um, you know, all, all kinds of other good stuff. So tonight we have an awesome special guest, Mr. Paul Hutchings, who is a dear friend of mine and just a marketing, complete marketing rock star. I've known Paul for many years. We've run in a lot of the same circles online in different internet marketing communities and companies and things that we've, we've been a part of. And um, Paul is also one of the co-founders of the Home Business Academy, which is where I currently hang my hat. I'm proud to hang my hat. It's an incredible company. Um, based on principle-centered leadership and helping people create freedom in their lives. And Paul is, um, you know, one of the things I love about Paul is he's one of the most highly integrous people I've ever met. Um, also one of the most generous people I've ever met, which is one of the reasons why those of us that are part of the Home Business Academy love it there so much. His partner, Mike Hobbs, um, is also both of those things. And it's just such a great place to be um, around leaders that really know uh, marketing and are so generous with their, um, their time and their knowledge and their wisdom to be able to help everybody and anybody that, that um, comes into the community to learn how to market and learn how to grow, learn how to become a leader. And you know, and they're also very generous with their compensation plan. And um, anyway, Paul has a gift. Well, it's, I always say it's a gift, but it's also part of it is that he's studied it a lot over the years. But I do think that he, it, it, it is a gift. He has a gift with people. He has a way of creating rapport with people. And, you know, anybody that's on his email list has been known to just fall in love with him because he's, He's genuine. He really knows how to write, um, use messaging in a way that really, um, you know, makes people feel heard and related to. And he's a great storyteller. And um, if you read the emails that I sent or that Paul sent or that anybody else that might have sent you here sent, you might have seen a little story in there from Paul where he shared about how he, you know, years ago went from repelling people with his messaging, like making people back away, like not wanting to hear what he has to say to today where people just love him and want to do business with him and are happy to spend money with him and contribute to his freedom-based lifestyle. So we have a great um, topic for you tonight. It's called Money Making Magic of Magnetic Messaging. If that's not a mouthful, <laughs> I don't know what is, but um, how are you doing tonight, Paul? I'm doing awesome. How are you, Amy? I'm good. Thank you for that great introduction. If, yeah, if, you, ever, so if you ever get invited to be on a webinar with Amy and have any sort of hesitation, just the introduction alone is worth <laughs> it. So definitely, <laughs> definitely do it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad this finally worked out. You, you know, we were, I know a lot of people were looking forward to tonight having Paul here and then we were having this technical glitch and I'm like, we got to make this happen. <laughs> we had a backup plan we almost had to use, but anyway, here we are. I'm so happy to have you here with us and um, yeah, go ahead and take it away. So you just want me to run with it, huh? And, well, and 
whatever, however you want to do it. Do you want me to ask okay. you a question? No, I'm good with whatever. <laughs> I've got I've got some notes and some things that I can share that hopefully will be valuable for everybody because we told them in the email that they would come away feeling like they stole something, right? So that's the goal. Yeah, um, we told people we were going to teach them how to transform from an annoying pest to the welcome guest. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, awesome. Well, let me, uh, I guess, let me just say hello, everybody. I'm so excited you're here. Thanks for taking the time to be here with Amy and I tonight. And I've got two windows open. I've got the video screen, and then I've also got the comments. So if you guys want to say hi in the comments, uh, interact with us as we're going throughout this, that would be super awesome. If you have any specific questions that pop up, during the uh, the webinar tonight, uh, we would be happy to to answer those. So I see um, uh, Anne's here, Danette's here. Hey, Danette, good to see you. Jim Hall's here. Uh, Nate, of course, is here for our comic relief. <laughs> Thanks for that <laughs> joke in the comments, Nate. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I guess if it's okay, I'll just quickly start off with my story. For those of you who don't know me, Amy did give me a great introduction, um, but I'll just give you my my brief story in case you don't know me. I'm uh, Paul Hutchings, as she mentioned. I'm I live in Southeast Idaho. Uh, come from a little town called Blackfoot, which is the potato capital of the world. I've mar I'm happily married. Been married to my wife, Kareen, for 14 years, and we've got four little boys. And uh, we just, we, we love being free here in Idaho. Like we live, we have our nice little dream property here in the country and I don't have a job. I can do the things that I want to do. In fact, just this morning I was at the gym and I was outside the gym talking to a friend of mine and uh, we got into one of those conversations where we just kept talking and talking and talking. And next thing you know, we see all these people walking by because they're showing up to work and we're still there talking. And my friend says, well, it looks like everyone's going to work. And I'm like, work, what's that? It's like, I guess it's something people do, you know, cause, cause we're free. Um, but it wasn't always that way for me. I got introduced to the home business profession through network marketing many years ago, but a little over a decade ago, when I was living in a 1984 single wide trailer house, working a job in a cubicle call center. Um, as I mentioned, living in a trailer house, I was making $11.09 an hour working at this call center. I didn't love my job. I'd wake up in the morning and just kind of dreaded, you know, going in there. Um, and that's where I got my start in, in life. And while I was at that job, I had a friend who was also at that job and he came from Burundi, Africa, believe it or not. His parents were diplomats, and his name was Arnold, and they sent Arnold to America to, you know, step into the land of freedom and have more opportunity and abundance, right? And so Arnold had a cubicle next to me, and we became, uh, we became very good friends, and uh, Arnold and I got involved in network marketing together, our first network marketing company. We, we joined together, and I actually talked Arnold into going door-to-door -door with me one time. So, we, so he's from Burundi. You know, I'm from, Amer I'm from Idaho, and, and we get in our car. We drive to this neighborhood, and we're so excited about this opportunity, and we've got our flyers, and we just literally like knock on doors for hours and get zero results and that first company I was in for an entire year and I made zero dollars I didn't even make a penny and I of course I was you know spending money on going to meetings and stuff uh, but that was my first introduction to to network marketing uh, but I saw the dream you know way back then I saw this dream that that I could be free that I could have a life where uh, my results were not dependent upon somebody else's dictation over my life. I saw this opportunity where if I could learn the skills, if I could serve the people, that literally my income and my freedom would be unlimited. And that idea, oh, I just fell so in love with that idea, this idea that someday somehow, some way I could be free. And that drove me through all the hard times. And there were more hard times, you know, year, year of network marketing, first year didn't make any money. Next four or five years, still not that great, right? I'm, I did manage to make a few hundred dollars here or there. So five years in, found myself living in this 1984 single wide trailer house. Um, and at this point, I'd quit my job because I said to my wife, I said, maybe we're not succeeding because we've got this stupid job, you know? And, and she's, my wife said, she says, well, we got some savings, you know? Why don't we go ahead and quit the job and go with this full time? So I said, yeah, I mean, if I'm doing this 40 hours a week, there's no way I can fail. So I quit my job. And so my job income disappeared. And at that point in time, after about five years or so, I, I had built about $1,000 monthly residual income in network marketing. 
but I quit my job. And over the next six months, my, so, so I went from part-time to full-time and my income in my network marketing company went from a thousand dollars a month down to $300 a month. So I'm living in this trailer house full-time. My income just dwindles down to almost nothing. And I'm thinking things can't get any worse. And then they did my, my third son, Kyson, he was born and my wife took him to a a doctor's appointment and she came home from the doctor one day and she was in tears. I mean, newborn baby, he was two weeks old. She comes home in tears and I'm like, what's wrong, honey? You know? And she said, well, uh, Kyson has a condition called craniosynostosis, which means the bones in his head are prematurely fused together, which means he's going to have to have a $50,000 head surgery down at primary children's hospital. And so there I was this dad, you know, wife, kids to support, living in a trailer, no, hardly any money coming in. And now I've got this son um, who needs this uh, head surgery. And I didn't, I mean, I, I really was at a super, super low point and I didn't know, I mean, I didn't know what else to do. There was a, uh, there was a time where I, right around this time frame, I offered a prayer in the back room of this single wide trailer house next to my two sons bed. And I was like, God, if you're there, please, you know, please help me. Um, I've got to find a way out of this situation. And long story short, if I can still say that, uh, some information came to me, some mentors came to me, and I learned some things that I was able to apply and totally turn it all around to where I went from that $300 monthly income to all of a sudden I'm starting to sponsor people. I'm seeing emails from the, from the company recognizing the top recruiters, and there's my name on the list. Then the money comes, $3,000 a month, $5,000 a month, $7,000 a month, 10 and 20 and on and on and on. And uh, uh, of course, not a guarantee of income. There's an earnings disclaimer probably here on this page somewhere. But long story short, we were able to go out of that, what I would call a desperate situation and build this life where now, you know, I'm a free man. You know, I wear this shirt. We wear this shirt. Some of the folks in our community wear this shirt, you know, freedom. And, and, and that's what we really believe in. Like we believe in this, this idea that you can be free if you're willing to work and if you're willing to learn. And that's one of the reasons I'm so excited to be here tonight because I want to share some of the ideas that helped me back when I was living in that trailer house that turned it all around, as Jim Rohn would say. And then also, if you're open, you know, towards the end of this presentation, Amy and I would like to share with you uh, something that you know we're really, really excited about. Amy mentioned it a little bit here at the first part of this uh, mastermind, but it's just something that uh, if, you, if you want, uh, we believe can help you step into freedom faster. And also, I've got a special bonus for those of you who stay to the end, so I want to encourage you to tune in. So as Amy mentioned, the title of the presentation tonight is Magnetic Messaging, Getting More Results with More Magnetic Messaging. And that story in the email that, that Amy talked about, absolutely true. Uh, I pull up to my friend. He actually was a car dealer, and I was working at an auto auction at the time. And, and we had this uh, fuel additive, actually, that, that was supposed to increase fuel mileage, reduce emissions, and, uh, and then prolong engine life. Those were the three benefits, right, of that product. <clears throat> and I was excited about it. And so I drive up to my friend's car lot, and his name was Carter. And I get out of the car. Carter gets out. He's like, hey, Paul. And I'm like, hey, Carter. Man, I got to tell you about this amazing product. Yeah. And I just threw up on it and, and literally like I remember it, it was like everything went in slow motion like we wrote an email his eyes got wide and he just went and he, and he just backed away from me right and that was that was an epic fail and and so I had experiences like that where, where I repelled people and as, as Amy mentioned you know uh, we've we've learned over the years to uh, make our messaging more magnetic. And again, that's the topic for tonight. So what I really would love to do is share with everyone uh, uh, magnetic messaging in a couple of different areas. Uh, but before I get into that, um, I want to uh, preframe what I'm gonna share with you uh, with a little bit more of the story that Amy mentioned. She, said, she mentioned the, the line from the email that said, go from the annoying pest to the welcome guest. And those words actually come from Dan Kennedy. He's got this great um, marketing product that he sells called Magnetic Marketing. And for those of you who have been around the home business online space for, uh, for, for some time now, you might be familiar with a, uh, a, an old ebook that was called Magnetic Sponsoring, right? Amy, you know Magnetic Sponsoring. 
Yep. Very famous. Uh, took the network marketing industry by storm. All about magnetic messaging and attracting people to you. Well, the genesis of, of Mike Dillard's magnetic sponsoring actually came because he was a student of Dan Kennedy, right? And his magnetic marketing product. Well, in this product, Dan Kennedy tells a story about how one day he was sitting in his house. I think it was down in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, he was just having a good old time. And all of a sudden, he hears this knock on the door. I'm shaking my, my camera. Here's this knock on the door. And he's like, ah, stupid salesman. And, and he says, I'm going to pretend like I'm not home. So uh, he just stays there. You know, he's like making sure he's not visible through any of the windows. And then he keeps hearing this knock, 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 knock. He's like, stupid salesman. And then the knock just keeps getting louder and louder and louder. And he's like, what the heck is wrong with this salesman? Why won't he go away? Well, the next thing he knows, the person who is knocking on the door climbs over the fence, jumps in the backyard, and it was a fireman. And he pounds on the glass and he says, your house is on fire. <laughs> and Dan Kennedy was like, what? And he said in, in a split second that an, what he thought was an annoying guest all of a sudden became the most welcome or the, the annoying pest all of a sudden became the most welcome guest that he could ever imagine because he saved his house from burning down. And he uses that as a story to, uh, to introduce this idea that with our messaging, if we're careful with the words that we use, we can attract rather than repel. And I wanna share with you one other little example. This actually comes from an event that uh, Amy and I were in a company a few years back and we would go to these events. You know, Every 90 days we'd go to these events and we'd sit in the audience and we would learn from other marketers and it was a really great thing and there was this one day we were sitting in this audience and there was this marketer uh, up on stage and this marketer actually uh just a, a little tidbit little cool little note of uh, uh, uh of credibility here for this marketer this marketer actually produced the largest first month check in network marketing history he made over seven hundred thousand dollars in one month, and it was December around Christmas time, right? So that's pretty powerful, pretty po powerful results. And I remember this marketer was on stage, and he holds up uh, two pieces of paper. He holds up a dollar bill in the one hand and a hundred dollar bill in the other hand, and he asks the audience. He says, "What's the difference between these two uh, bills?" And you know, everyone's raising hands and throwing out guesses. Is, you know, well, one's worth $100, one's worth $1, and all these different guesses, and nobody can come up with the answer. And finally, he says, okay, I want to I paint this out for you guys. The only difference between these two pieces of paper is the message on the paper. They're the same paper, same paper, right? But one has a perceived value of 100 times the other one. And that's such a great lesson to, to think about when you're thinking about messaging. Messaging matters. The words we say in our conversation matter. The words we put on our web pages matter. The words we put in our emails, they matter a lot. And so I wanted to share the content tonight in two, uh, two, two, two phases, I guess, guess you could say. One phase is I wanted to cover a little bit about magnetic messaging in one-on-one -on -one communication. And I wanted to cover this because... I, I'm a fan uh, still, uh, even though I, I know how to use the internet, I know how to generate leads, I know how to send out emails, I know how to get autopilot sales. I have it in my heart for some reason that one-on-one -on -one communication will never go out of style. Like people, people like to connect and I like to connect. When I connect with someone, I get this, this sense of, um, you know, just fulfillment, you know, that, that I can't really get in any other way. And another reason that one-on-one -on -one communication is really important is because it's, it's very easy for people to do, especially if they're just getting started in a network marketing business or an affiliate marketing business. And so if you can get people started with things that are, that are relatively easy, um, I think that's a good thing. They can go out and they can get, they can get a quick win. And so um, I wanted to share a couple of uh, magnetic, magnetic messaging pieces around one-on-one -on -one communication. So the first one, this is a, well, actually, before I do that, let me share with you two examples of what not to do. And then I'll share with you the principles of magnetic communication and one-on-one -on -one, uh, interactions uh, for business when you're inviting people to look at things, so on and so forth. So I got this message a couple of weeks ago from this friend of mine and a friend, a, an acquaintance. I wouldn't say we have a real deep connection, but an acquaintance, we've, we'd been in a business uh, together sometime in the past. And I got this message and the message said, hey, Paul, he said, hope you're doing well. Hey, man, how's your family? 
And that was it. And I was like, wow, that's, you know, that's cool. So I, so I messaged him back. And I was like, hey, so-and-so, man, I'm doing good. I, I said, my family's good. My kids are good, you know. Uh, how, how's your family doing? And then I sent the message. And then here's how the next message from this person came. He's like, oh, that's great. I'm glad your family's doing well. Yeah, my family's doing well. Uh, by the way, blah, 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 blah. And he told me, like, all the stuff that was going on with his business and how fast they're growing and all this stuff that made me feel like the first question about how's my family was totally insincere. And wow, that just really rubbed me the wrong way. Um, so, so I guess like one tip is uh, one tip, one lesson from that is, and, and, and this relates to the two aspects that I'm going to share tonight, is there's a direct way to ask people. And then there's a little bit more of an indirect way to ask people or to give an invitation. Uh, and, and the indirect way it involves a little bit more time and rapport where you actually ask questions and you care about what people tell you, okay? That's indirect. Direct is where you just kind of get straight to the point. And both ways work, but the mistake we don't want to make is we don't want to pretend, uh, and maybe this person really did care. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to say he had nefarious intentions, but it came across that way because it came across like he was pretending to care and then he just, you know, told me all about his business. The second mistake this person made, and I'll get to this in the principles, is he told me a whole bunch of stuff that he has no idea whether I cared about or not, right? Like he just went into the spiel of how awesome his company was and his team was. Not once did he ask me if I was open, which would be a good thing to do, you know, before you start telling someone. Another thing that he could have done is he could have aroused curiosity a little bit by just giving me a little nugget, just a little tidbit, and then asking me, if I was open. So, and, and I'm going to explain more when I get into the principles, but, but that was, a, I think that was a, a, not the best approach. And then just today, before I was going to get on the uh, webinar tonight, I got another message from somebody who, God bless her, she's out there building her business and taking action and giving invitations. And I think that should always be praise, you know, great job, right? Doing stuff. But I want to share with you guys the message. And, and, and then hopefully we can learn some things here uh, that we can avoid doing. So here it is. So first, the link to the video comes, just like out of the blue. In my inbox <laughs> pops a link to a video. I'm like, huh, and this happens all the time, right? Amy, do you get like people just send you links? And like even friends who are sending me like stuff that's not to do with home business, like maybe political stuff, they'll just send it and, and with no messenger, and I'm like, why are you sending me stuff? Like, why don't you say like, hey, Paul, um, I saw this and thought of you. <laughs> you know, I thought you might like this, at least something, like, but no, just a, just a random link. So that's maybe not the best. And then the message follows. Here's the message. Hi, Paul, hope you and the fam are well. These products have impacted my life in so many ways. I thought of sharing. <laughs> okay. What are the chances of me actually looking at that video? <laughs> you know, probably not very good. Yeah, I just, I said, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for thinking of me. And then exit out of that message box, right? So here are a couple of ways we can improve on those approaches. Number one, direct way. And I'm going to be fast because we got to get through this uh, quickly and then onto the uh, magnetic messaging for attracting the masses, which is the next phase that you go through, right? So let's say you start a business and you just want a quick way to invite people that you're connected with but also a way, and this is a requirement for me, uh, and, I, and I've, done, I've done home business in a lot of different ways. I've done home business where I'm, I'm pushy, I'm trying to sell people, and, and that doesn't feel good to me anymore. So anytime I'm ever going to share someone with a friend of mine, it must be in a way that preserves the relationship at a minimum and nourishes the relationship if I want to go the extra mile. And so here's, here's a simple way. And this, this works really, really well for Facebook, but you can take these principles and apply them in other mediums. It's a four-step invitation process. Um, step number one is express goodwill. Step number two is remove pressure. Step number three is arouse curiosity. Step number four is deliver the invitation. 
And as long as you've got those four principles involved in your invitation, you can get out a bunch of, of invites and people will message you back and like, yeah, I'm open. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm open. No, I'm not. Some people will even message you back and say, hey, thanks so much for checking in. So let me give you an example of what that looks like. So if I was going to message Amy, if I started a business, or even if I had a business I started a long time ago, but I get a bunch of people I haven't invited. Hey, Amy, this is Paul. Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, hey, listen, this probably is kind of a long shot because I know you're really successful in, in what you're doing. But man, I ran across something a week ago that it, I've never seen anything like it. And I'm pretty excited about it. I think it could be very lucrative. And I was just curious to know if you might be open to taking a peek. If so, let me know. I'd love to send you a video. If not, that's okay. Uh, message me back and let me know how you're doing. Boom. And you send that audio, right? And so, or it can work in text as well. Uh, but because you followed those four principles, you've removed pressure. So now Amy, she's like, no big deal, right? And, and I like to build my business that way. Like, I like to respect people's freedom. I don't like people to think that I'm coming at them, you know, trying to push them in something. So that remove pressure really helps with that. And then the arouse curiosity part, again, Amy made that like, bleh, like throw up motion uh, when I was telling that story about me approaching my friend. Arouse curiosity is, is just where you say a little teeny bit that would make someone go, huh, he's never, see never seen anything like that before? Wonder what that is. Yeah, send it over, you know? Um, and, then, and then I also, at the end of that invitation, I like to nourish the relationship by saying, hey, either way is cool. Let me know how you're doing anyway. I'd love, love to just catch up. And that's like a direct invitation. It's very upfront, straight to the point, and it works really, really well for people that you have some connection with. Now, for people you don't have a connection with, and this works for cold contacts. You can use this next process on Facebook. You can also use this on leads. Like if you're generating leads and you're calling people, I use this for years and it worked really, really well. And it goes like this, make a friend. It's also, it's three steps. So make a friend, find a need, suggest a solution. Okay, so make a friend is simply where you just sincerely ask about the person. Um, you know, gosh, Amy, I'm on your Facebook profile. Wow, how many kids do you have? You know, uh, or if you're calling someone on the phone, um, I would say, uh, you know, uh, are, where a lot of times if you're calling someone on the phone, you, you, you know their area code. So I would look that up beforehand, or I might even not look that up, but I would say, hey, you're in the 208 area code. Where's that? And they would say, oh, I'm in Idaho. Oh, wow, you're in Idaho. Me too. You know, how long have you lived there? And they'd say, oh, you know, I've lived here this long. And you just start asking questions that are designed to help you get to know the person a little bit, but then also show the person that you're actually interested in them right? So you're, so you're making a friend. And then while you're asking those questions, you're finding a need. And <clears throat> this um, finding a need part is a really important part of influence. Um, earlier today, my son, my oldest son was taking our dog out for a walk. And he, the dog got off the leash and the dog ran under the deck. And my sons were like kneeled down next to the deck. And they're like, come, come on out here, Durango. And they were like, mom, dad, the dog won't come. And my wife said, she said, she said, come in here and get a treat. And then she said, if you give the dog what he wants, he will follow you wherever you want to go. And I heard that phrase and I was like, wow, like how powerful is that? And how true is it? If you give the person what they want, they will follow you wherever you want to go. And so in a prospecting conversation, if you can find out what a person's dream is, what a person's problem is, Frank Kern says, um, actually, a uh, little genesis of this, uh, Anthony Robbins says that human beings are motivated by two things, hope of gain, fear of loss. And with influential communication, boy, that's, that's a nugget you can take to the bank. Just remember that, hope of gain, fear of loss. In much of our communication, we want to be talking about all the benefits, all the great things, how our life can be better, how we can transform and then also uh, we can talk about the pain, like the, the things that we want to move away from, the problems. That, I mean, that's, that's really a high level framework for any type of copywriting you're ever going to do, right? And so Frank Kern phrases it this way. This is a he headline copywriting formula, getting ahead of myself here, um, that he says in a great headline, you can say how to get yay without boo, right? Again, there's that hope of gain, that benefit and then that boo, the thing, the thing that, we, that, we don't, that we don't like. And so in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, if you can find out what somebody wants, that is a golden ticket because they just told you what their dog biscuit was. And then you can then say when you get to the third part of the um, formula, which is suggest a solution, you can say, hey, Amy, 
if I could show you how to make that $5,000 a month a little bit faster, would you be open to watch a video that might be able to help you do that? Yeah, because you, I mean, she just told you what she wanted, right? Um, and then also notice in that phrase, are you open? Uh, I don't know why this is so hard for people to get. Um, I, I, went to a, uh, I went to an event one time in San Diego, California, where the trainer said, common sense is not common practice, right? And so are you open? Like, holy cow, ask people, are you open? If I could show you a benefit, would you be open to? You know, if I could show you how to get rid of that problem, would you be open to? And you'll be shocked at how many people say, yes, yes, I'm open, yes, I'm open, yes, I'm open. And if they say, yes, they're open, they've now made a commitment or at least a micro commitment in your direction so that when you send them that video, the odds of them actually watching it are much higher than if you had just sent them, you know, sent them the link. So that's, uh, those are a little bit, a few tips in magnetic communication. Uh, and by the way, you know, don't despise the simple things. I have made a lot of money using that framework, those two things that I've just shared with you guys. And again, the thing that I love about it is that's simple. Anybody can do that. If they've got a dream and a desire, if they really want to make something happen, if they're real, if they're willing to go to work, you can take what I just shared with you, combine it with a Facebook account. And I believe you could go become a top earner in anything you want to be a top earner in. Um, messaging, really important. Um, I'm going to pause, Amy, uh, before I get into the next part. Do you have anything you want to interject or... Um, uh, I grabbed the definition earlier for rapport. I just, I'm just going to read it because I think it, it's goes really well with what, like what, you know, why it works so well with all the, the principles that you just taught. So establishing rapport is really important when it comes to magnetic communication. The definition of rapport, according to Merriam Webster dictionary is it's a friendly, harmonious relationship characterized by agreement, mutual understanding, or empathy that makes communication possible or easy. Mm. So I love that definition because it's like, you know, we, we talk about rapport, but I never actually looked it up before. And I was thinking about it earlier when I was thinking about what we were going to be talking about tonight. And I feel like, you know, it makes it possible or easy rather than like giving somebody something that they didn't ask for without have, you know, without establishing rapport. So I love that. Um, it's like an invisible, positive connection with people. Yeah. That's just like in the background. Yeah. That, that creates the, the container for the conversation and it changes the direction or the vibe of the, the conversation completely. So anyway, I just wanted to share that because I, feel, I think it goes well with like everything that you just taught. I love that. And another way to look at it too that I thought of as you were talking is it's almost like we as people, we naturally have our guards up and understandably so, like everybody's trying to get our money all the time. <laughs> you know, there's like advertising everywhere. Everyone's always trying to get our money. So we have this guard up, right? And so rapport, uh, in my mind, uh, it's like the guard comes down. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, you know, like I trust Amy. You know, like, I trust that Amy, she has my best interests at heart and she has her prospects and her team's best interests at heart. Like the trust is there. And a great quote from uh, one of our former mentors, he quoted a guy named Milton Erickson, who was a great hypnosis, hypnotist, hypnotherapist. And he said, anything is possible in the presence of rapport. And everyone wants to skip over the rapport and just get to the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like rapport is important. And so rapport is important in one-on-one -on -one communication. And it's also important in mass communication, which is the next phase that we wanted to talk a little bit about tonight, which is, you know, how do you have magnetic messaging and influence larger numbers of people, uh, not just one-on-one, -on -one, but how do you attract more people from your YouTube videos, from, you know, your lead capture pages, from your emails, um, and rapport is an important part of that. And it's one of the reasons probably that Amy does these great webinars every Wednesday. She wants to provide value to her list build rapport so that when she does offer something to buy, the guard will be down and be like, wow, you know, like I've heard Amy's stories. Like I know, you know, her, some of her family situation, I know some of her struggles, you know, it like just drops that guard and it makes people, you know, ready to, to buy. Um, and so let's get into a little bit more magnetic communication in, and by the way, hi, Jim, hi, Asinth, Jeff, 
uh, Donette, uh, we got some great comments. Thank you for the for the great feedback. Um, and again, any questions, guys? Feel free to uh, to 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 post those questions. So, um, magnetic messaging to attract the masses. So let me and and I have some bullet points here. Two th couple things to think about in the beginning. Okay. So number one is if you can find a market that is hungry for something, everything else becomes so much easier, right? So, um, so, so before you ever start to go do any marketing, I heard a seven-figure uh, earner one time say, when you're speaking to everybody, if you're speaking to everybody, you're speaking to nobody. So the first step before you get into any type of messaging is you must ask the question, who is my audience, right? It would be idiotic for me to stand in front of a room full of vegetarians at a vegetarian convention and give a sales presentation on ribeye steak. <laughs> that would be dumb, <laughs> right? So the audience really, really matters. So if you can select an audience that has a problem that you can help solve, your job is like 90% of the way done. And the way that I've done it for many years, when I, first, when I was living in that trailer house, I had some mentors that came along and they suggested that I target uh, other people in network marketing. I was in network marketing at the time and they said network marketers or people in direct sales are a great market to target because you know they're, they're, they like residual income they're into the things that you're into, you know, they're good. They're, if somebody has bought a business opportunity at one point in time, the odds of them buying another are like through the roof. So they're buyers. Um, and, and then also their problems are fairly easy to define, which means if you know their problems, you can craft a message that, that, that attracts them. And what you want to do with your marketing is you want to start with the audience and build a bridge to you rather than start with you and build a bridge to your audience. It's the same thing. It's notice it's the same thing we did when we were having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody. We said, "What do you want? What is your goal? What would you like to achieve out of your home-based business?" They tell you, that's a bridge from them to you, right? So now you you can build that bridge. So you do the same thing in marketing. So um, in network marketing, direct sales, we know common problems people struggle with: sponsoring, recruiting, lead generation, maybe cash flow. And so we can we can craft a message that that sort of attracts uh, attracts those people. And now and I'll just I'll, I'll tell you two things that are actually one main thing that I've done for over a decade that worked ten years ago and it still works really well today. Um, and whether or not your market is network marketers or people in direct sales, the principles are the same, right? They're the same. So you can take these principles and apply them to whatever it is you might be building or, or selling on the internet. And so um, when I first started having some success on the internet and, and with messaging, by the way, like the first thing is your domain name, your web address. So you've got a web address that you want to market. You want to get people to that web address. And that's your first opportunity to craft a message that is magnetic and pulls. Let me give you an example of a, of a domain address that maybe is not so great. We were, Mike, Mike Hobbs, my partner and I were consulting with um, some MLM company owners a couple of weeks ago, and their web address was the corporate name of their company that was like, uh, it was like initials.com. Uh, it's like the initials of their company.com. And so when you look at that message, the message says nothing to the prospect, nothing, absolutely nothing. So it's like, you want to you take advantage of all of your real estate. Uh, you know, so even a domain name, how can you make your domain name speak to your prospect? And here's some principles that I followed. You want your domain name to be short, easy to spell, easy to remember, and benefit driven, benefit driven. So when I first started marketing my network marketing business on the internet, my first domain was da 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 da. It's a little spammy, but it worked really well. It was MLM internet explosion.com, right? Because I was targeting people in network marketing. And so when I would do my YouTube videos, I'd be like, hey, this is Paul with MLM, MLM internet explosion.com. 
but just think about what that message communicates. Okay. So my time is was- MLM leads are easy.com. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. <laughs> See success leaves clues. So those, <laughs> both of those domains, MLM, it's like, who are we targeting people in MLM? Hello, are you an MLM? Yes, I am. Well, God, you know, like come listen, right? So MLM <laughs> and then benefit driven. So Amy says leads are easy. What if, what MLM struggle with leads. So then they hear, leads are easy. Wow. What is that? I got to go check that out. I mean, that is such a great domain name, right? So benefit driven. Um, and MLM internet explosion.com. I don't need to dissect that similar type of a thing. Like it's, it's a, it's a, it's a benefit driven, right? So that's messaging. How can you put a benefit in all of your communication? How can you be benefit driven? This is really hard for people, I think, because naturally we are Napoleon Hill says we're all selfish, you know, like not selfish in an evil way, but we all care about the things we care about. Right. And so like whenever you, and, and this is another reason why it's so easy to get people talking is because if you can just ask them about their own life, they will just go and go and go and go and go. Right. Well, in marketing, we've got to, we got to switch that and we've got to learn to be benefit driven in our communication. So We've got, uh, got the domain names, uh, next step in magnetic marketing for um, communication. Uh, I'll, I'll just hit these really fast because we're kind of running out of time. Uh, but a lead magnet, you know, a lead magnet is again, just something that you give someone in exchange for their contact information. Um, so how can you make your lead magnet benefit driven and irresistible? Uh, my, my lead magnet right now that I use for targeting people in network marketing is a free lead system. Notice what a Amy said, MLM leads are ease. This stuff doesn't change, you know, like 10 years, it's the same stuff, right? So, um, so if, you can, if you can have some sort of a lead magnet that you give people in your target market, that, that will attract them to you, something that helps them, right? And I would also recommend if you're new, <clears throat> um, one mistake I see a lot of people make um, is you'll have a new person go out and try to do all this marketing on their own, create their own lead magnet, create their own... And oftentimes it doesn't work, uh, not because the person is dumb, but because they just don't have the experience to, to make it work well. So if you can connect with a leader that has something already done that is good, uh, I, I would recommend using that. I probably would still be using somebody else's thing if I didn't um, grow to a point where the things I was using before started to misalign with my values and I just couldn't, couldn't use them anymore. Um, so you got something pulled up, Amy, did you want to share? Well, I was just going to show the, I think this is the one you're talking about that you use, and this is a done for you, an example of a done for you. Yep. Right. Um, that we have available inside of our system that new people are using without having to create anything and generating leads right out of the, out of the gate. Right. So rather than you have to create this whole page with this opt-in and all this really good magnetic It's got all the benefits copy. and all the, everything's on here. Right, exactly. For you. Yeah, perfect. That's a great, great example. Um, so that's lead magnets. And we've got, well, yeah, like Amy said, we've, we've got some done for you lead magnets in our community. Um, I wanted to, uh, let me share just a couple other things and then, and then we'll go where you want to go, Amy. And then if we could, I would love to show people how we can serve them at a higher level if they're open to making some great, fast, exciting, principle-based income. <laughs> you see, I'm starting <laughs> to get excited about, about this next thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I did want to give a couple examples of calls to action that I use that worked really well. Um, and I use these on YouTube, but I think the principles can be applied to any, any calls to action. And calls to, call to action is just where you invite somebody to do something, right? People don't, gr people don't change unless we invite them to change. People don't take action unless we invite them to take action. Um, that, that lady that sent me that invite, you know, hey, these are some things that really helped me. I thought, you know, maybe I would just send them your way. That's not a call to action. Like a call to action would be, would you be open to taking a look? Sure. Now we got a call to action. So uh, a couple close, a couple call to actions I used in my YouTube videos. I used the Tom Cruise close. Um, and so this is where like I would get to the end of my video and I'm targeting someone in network marketing, right? And I would say, and hey, by the way, here's something to think about. When Tom Cruise comes out with a new movie, do you think he calls all of his friends and family and begs them to go to the movie theater to see his new movie? 
Heck no. He uses marketing. So in network marketing, you can also use marketing. Go check out my web address and get this free ebook that's going to teach you about marketing. So that was one close that worked really well. I also had the mousetrap close where I would say, uh, you know, one of my seven figure mentors, she, she used to say, she used to, she used to say that people would quote Henry David Thoreau and the, and she would say he was a liar. And they would quote this quote that said, he said, if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. She said, not true. The world will only beat a path to your door if it knows you've built a better mousetrap. And that's through marketing. Hey, head on over to this website. I've got a free marketing training that I want to give you, right? Um, so that's a good way to get people to take action. And then the last one is, is sell the vision. You know, sell the vision. People, people tend to take action based on an exciting vision for the future. So if I was having a YouTube video targeting people in network marketing and I got to the end and I wanted to use the vision close, I might say something like, imagine what it would be like if you built this pipeline to where every day you woke up, turned on your computer and you had a flood of new leads. They're people just ready to talk to you. Like how exciting would that be? Go to my website and I'll show you how to do that. I mean, that's kind of irresistible, right? So those are some magnetic uh, examples of calls to action that you can use. And we have gone almost an hour, Amy. So yeah, we started a little late. Don't forget. Okay. That's true. I think we started at least 10 after. So let me check the comments real quick. And oh, I got to refresh the page, right? Mm hmm. I feel like I've been talking so much, Amy. You yeah, should talk for about been, 15 minutes or it's so. It's been good. <laughs> um. Yeah, some good comments. Jeff Abramson, easiest way to think of rapport is what Paul says, make a friend. Yeah, absolutely. If you feel like the conversation is beginning to create a new friendship, then you built rapport. Absolutely. So um, I guess we can just kind of get right into the next part. I mean, 10 minutes. I have, as I mentioned, I've got a special bonus for uh, you guys, especially if you're here uh, for the first time, or maybe you're coming back and you haven't take it, taken action. Um, but as Amy mentioned earlier, uh, I co-founded a company about three years ago. It's called the Home Business Academy. Uh, it's where Amy says she hangs her hat. And I think that's like the greatest compliment we could get as a, as a company, as a culture, as a community, because Amy truly is an amazing, talented, accomplished, heart-centered leader. And for her to say that, I mean, that, that just speaks volumes to uh, what we're creating together. Uh, but I'd love to take just a minute uh, and share with you guys what we've created and give you an invitation and also a special bonus offer, a fast action bonus offer um, for those of you who like what you see and want to want to take action and, and maybe run with us. Um, but just real quick, wh why we decided to create this company before I share with you what it is. Uh, as I mentioned in this presentation, I've been around the block a long time. Amy's been around the block a long time. Uh, Mike Hobbs, my business partner, has been around the block a long time. And we just started, you know, our, our vision since, since I first got started in home-based business was freedom. You know, I wanted to build a stream of uh, residual income that I could count on that would be there for the long haul. I wanted to do it in a way where I made great friends, lifelong friends. Uh, when I joined my first business, I never planned on joining another business. But guess what happened in that first business? The uh, state government of Utah shut the company down because one of the owners was mismanaging funds and he actually went to prison, right? So I joined my first company and that happened. I'm like, oh shoot, you know, well, let me join another company, right? So then I was in this other company where I hit my first $3,000 a month in, in uh, residual income. And then the company one day decided they were going to change the comp plan slash my income. Right? And this, by the way, this happens a lot. It, I don't know why it's so common, but it is very common for companies to go out of business or companies to go back on their word or companies to change the comp plan. And so this pattern kept happening, you know, over and over and over. And so three years ago, my business partner, Mike and I, we got to a point where we were just so sick of it. We said, we've been selling this dream of residual income and you can't have residual income if companies keep going out of business. And if that keeps happening, we can't keep telling people that they can build residual income when we know odds are high, the company's probably gonna go out of business or our commissions are gonna get stolen or something. 
So we had the choice at that point to join maybe like a legacy network marketing company, which is not a bad idea. There's companies out there that have been around for 10, 15, 20 years or whatever, or longer. And, um, and if you're going to build a future, that's really important that you, you be with something that you know is going to be around for a while. Problem with some of those companies for us was that it almost seemed, and I'm not speaking for all of them, but some of them, it was almost like if you went to work for them, you are signing away your freedom and becoming an employee again because they have so many handcuffs they put on you. They have so many, uh, you know, uh, uh, hoops to jump through, performance quotas to keep your residuals, uh, hidden things in the policies. If you ever read the policies, pretty much they own you. You know, like they, yeah. you, you have almost no rights, right? And so, and, and you know, not all of them are like that. There's some really great companies. But, but Mike and I, we said, okay, another thing we wanted is we also wanted a bigger income, you know, uh, not, not income, not income where people get hurt. But when we make a sale, we love the idea that we can get paid well for the sale. And we'd had experience in affiliate marketing mi mixed in with our uh, network marketing activities. And what's great about affiliate marketing is uh, if you're selling a product that say is a digital product, the uh, the cost on that product is is lo is low to produce because the, the the main cost of the product is all the time effort and skill that went into creating the product but once the product is created you don't have any physical ingredients to put in the product and that means you can pay a high commission right and you can sell that over and over and over and over and you're still you're you've got high profit margins and we, we also wanted to help people be free faster. So I talked about at the beginning, we love freedom. We want to help people win their freedom as fast as possible. So what's one of the ways we can do that? Well, for heaven's sakes, pay them the most we possibly can. So we started this company for all of those reasons. And we, um, you know, we have a comp plan. Before I share with you the products, we have a comp plan that we're able to pay miraculously 80% out on every sale that an affiliate makes. And that's important to us because... Again, we want to help people get results. And so if someone can make a sale and keep most of that money, they can achieve their goals you know, faster, theoretically. Um, and then if we can have products that people actually like and a community that people trust, then we feel we've got a you know, really a winning combination. And so uh, that's the, uh, the compensation behind our company. It's called the Home Business Academy. And... Um, uh, Amy, do you want to tell them just real quick about uh, maybe our first product that everyone could get started with if they wanted to? Maybe I know we've talked about it before. Yeah, so it's called the HBA Funnel Builder, and um, that page that I just flashed on the screen before is built with that product, and it's basically a tool that you really need. Um, there's a lot of different companies that offer um, this type of a tool because if you're going to build a business online, you need a way to generate leads. You need pages to be able to offer people um, value, whether it's a free gift that you give them in exchange for their contact information or a webinar registration page or whatever. We can build all of that inside of the HBA Funnel Builder as well as membership sites, which is unbelievable to me that we're able to build membership sites for the same price. Um, like all the stuff that comes with the Funnel Builder Usually, if you were to go to another company that offers this kind of thing, you'd be paying way, way, way more than the $25 a month that we pay here. And we also get, um, besides membership sites, all the, the page builder, unlimited pages and gorgeous templates and full customization. They have all kinds of other really cool things built into it as well, which... Um, somebody's jaw dropped the other day when I told them that we have <laughs> now a booking feature included because the, the booking, like normally if you're using an online scheduler for your business, like if you're a coach or whatever, and you let people book appointments with you online, you know that you're probably paying more than $25 a month just for that. And we have that built in to this now, like they just keep adding stuff. So, I mean, I can't, you know, we don't have enough time for me to tell you everything that's in there, but I can't say enough good things about it. It's easier to use. I've used pretty much all of the big name ones that are available because I've been doing this for a long, long time. And um, this one is much more, e you know, easier to use, easier to customize, easier to, you know, create things like once the way that you want them so that all your pages have the same look and feel each time you go back. It's just 
I can't say enough good things about it, but yeah, that's called the HBA Funnel Builder. How much do you think a, a product like that compet- comparatively in the market, like how much do you think it's worth? Well, I know that, you know, some of the competitors are like $297 a month. I would say it's worth at least that. At least $297 a month. And so mm-hmm. uh, I'm gonna, I want to share with you guys also. So she mentioned the funnel builder and oh, I'm disabled. Can I share screen? Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, because we started over. Yeah. So just the funnel builder yeah. she mentioned is worth uh, potentially $300 a month. That's what competitors are selling it for. Uh, when if you, if you buy the funnel builder, uh, you also get in addition to the funnel builder, what we call the funnel builder academy, which is step-by-step training, uh, f- mainly from my business partner. I have a little bit of content in here, but mainly from my business partner who's built not one, but two seven-figure businesses uh, teaching you how to use it, you know, step by step in an easy way. We have done for you templates. So you get the Funnel Builder Academy and you get the Funnel Builder itself for da, 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 not 300, 25 bucks a month. What? Yeah, 25 bucks a month. And because we pay 80% resi- 80% commissions, that means every time you sell one, you get $20 residual commission. Honestly, it is a miracle that we have this quality, high quality of a product and We've somehow structured things in a way that we're still able to pay uh, that that residual uh, commission, that high of residual commission. So that's our first product. And I also wanted to show you guys, we are selling this like crazy. So this is my this is my email inbox. These are sales <laughs> that are coming in just today. So like to 1247, 942, 1128. These are yesterday, May 26. Like every day. We're selling anywhere from five to 15, some some days 20 of these every single day. So people are buying this product and they absolutely love it. Um, So uh, there's also a link, by the way, below this video where you can click the link and that'll open up the order page. Is that right? Yeah, it'll, it'll have the overview video on it. Okay. So it has an overview video. Okay. So it has the sales page. So you can watch the sales video. You, you know, you can look at the bullets or you can just scroll down and, you know, click to get started. Um, and that's uh, that's 25 bucks a month. We have a three day money back guarantee. So you can check it out, see if you like it. If you don't let us know, we want to make sure you're happy, but that's our first product. And then our second product, and I'm just going to cover these next two really fast. And then I want to share with you guys the, the bonus that we have. I don't want to spend too much time because you can get in here, you can fill out the form, you can get started, you can see everything we have from the inside for really no risk. Um, But our second, so that's our funnel builder product. Our second product is what we call HBA premium. And the idea with this product is we wanted to make this A to Z, the most complete membership on the planet for anyone who was just getting started in home business uh, all the way to the advanced marketer so that when we sponsor new customers, rather than us being on a webinar for three hours, teaching them Facebook ads, blogging, YouTube, we could just send them to the product and they can, it's better anyway, because all this training is well thought out. It's well-planned. They get better service and we have the ability to earn more commissions, right? Uh, which is the goal to be free. So with this product, it's 125 a month and it pays a hundred dollar monthly residual commission, right? And again, you can see all of the content that we have here. We're continuing to add whenever we find somebody in the community that is producing great results with a new strategy that we're not aware of, we get them in and we get the training put in here and it's all here available in this library. Um, for people to uh, to participate in. And so, you know, going back to what I said about building a life of freedom, one of the big aha moments I had on my journey is that if I could make bigger commissions, I could be free faster. So if my goal is to make $3,000 a month, well, 30 sales that pay me $100 a month is a lot easier than, you know, hundreds of sales that pay me less. And so, and so that's an important part of our product lineup. We also have this third product, which is called the Financial Literacy Academy, which is a one-time purchase. It's optional. You can learn more about it if, if, as you go through the checkout process. Um, but uh, basically that product is designed to help people be financially literate because we wanna help people be free. And one th- that we noticed in our journeys is that we could teach people how to make money. We could teach people how to make big money but if they didn't have financial literacy, all the money would run out the back door as fast as it was coming in. 
the front door. And so the Financial Literacy Academy is all about learning how to take the money that you make in your home-based business or in any other way you generate income and to put that money to work for you so that you're actually growing your wealth, you're growing your residual income, and so that you don't get in a spot someday where you were making good money here and then all of a sudden times get hard and now you're in trouble, right? That's what happened because business is up and down, you know, like, and, and so we've got to, we've got to prepare for the future and plan for the future. And that's what that, that product is designed to do. And so I actually had a good friend of mine, Jeff Brown, um, who actually I did want to talk about real quick. If, if we still have a little bit of time, um, this, uh, this is a friend of mine. He joined, uh, the other day, actually about three days ago. And he started using the done for you sell system, which we have. So we have all these products we just mentioned, but we also have done for you sell systems. One of which Amy showed you earlier. So my friend, Jeff, right? So I've, I actually met Jeff when I was living in a single wide trailer house and I called him on the phone and he answered and we became good friends. Like way back in the day, we've stayed connected. So he joined this system and um, he, he followed the steps. Uh, which is like, I don't know, three or four steps, easy steps. And next thing I know, he's sending me uh, emails, uh, I, not emails, he's sending me texts. And he says, uh, uh, let's see if I can find these exact ones here. Um, he has so many. But he's, long story short, he starts sending me messages. Uh, oh, darn it. I wish I could find these because they're so good using his exact, uh, his exact words. Let me see if I can find these here real quick. Um, I'm almost there. Hold on. These are worth the wait, guys, because this is so fun. This is so fun when people start getting results. Okay, here, here's what he says. He says, <laughs> I'm locked and loaded, baby. Ordered leads going out Wednesday. And then he sends me a screenshot of someone signing up for the system. And he says, what do I do? I didn't plan to get anyone. Laugh out loud. I expected failure. I'm disappointed. <laughs> and, then I, and then I messaged him back and I said, way to go. And then he says, uh, he, says uh, he asked me a couple of questions. And then he says, this is great. I'm stoked. And then he says, dude, I just got a second one. Wow, only 30 leads out. That's almost 10%. Tell him to stop. I don't want to be successful this fast. And then I said, laugh out loud. <laughs> and then he sends me another message. Hey, LOL, I just got another three. This is crazy. And then and then I said, dang, Gina, you're a natural. Go Jeffro is a little nickname I call him. And then he says, uh, and then he says, L-M-A-O, just now another, O-M-G, four now, about two an hour coming in. Dude, this is crazy. I'm losing count. I think seven. LMAO. Got to check uh, my response. 19 subscribe. And then today at 10 a.m. he sends me a screenshot of a customer who joined and bought all of our products. So she bought the Funnel Builder, HBA Premium, Financial Literacy Academy, which means Jeff, Jeff, he earned some great commissions. He sends me the screenshot. I don't know if you guys can see that. The screenshot of the commission report. You might not be able to see it. But right under that, he says, dude, easiest system on the planet. You guys rock. And, uh, and it just goes on, right, of how excited he is, uh, you know, to, to be getting results this fast. So it's pretty exciting, you know, that, that we've, got, we've got, I think, super high quality products that people love. We've got amazing community that people love, so supportive. Everyone watches out for each other. We've got high, we've got high commissions, so you can win your freedom fast. We've got done for you sales systems where complete newbies can get in, get started, push a button, start getting a few sales. I mean, it, what what that does for people is priceless. You know, like when they can get leads and sales quickly, the level of belief is is, is really amazing. And so, if you're watching this video. We would love to give you an invitation to join. We feel that we've got something special. We're super excited about the future. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul, for all the value. I know you had to talk really, really, really fast to fit it all in in the amount of time we have. Um, as you can see, Paul's a wealth of information. And I will add that part of the HBA Premium membership, besides what Paul showed you in that back office, we have a mastermind every Monday. And Paul and Mike share huge nuggets of wisdom every week with us but not only that the, the other members of the community are all super generous anything that's working right now for anybody is shared and masterminded and ideas are created inside of that mastermind but um i know i learn a ton every single week in there and so if you liked what you heard tonight from paul um 
you'll love the HBA premium um, masterminds because there's there's lots of juicy nuggets like that that every week. So Jeff yeah. says I'm and jealous. It is the best community ever. It's the best community I've ever been a part of. People really go out of their way to help each other. It's not competitive. It's very different than a lot of the other communities that I've been a part of in that way. Um, really, really principle centered leadership, heart heart centered, just yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. So we hope to see you in the community. Click the button below. Whoever sent you to this page will get credit for the sale. Um, you know, this is a replicated page in that sense. Um, another feature of the HBA Final Builder, which is incredible. Yep. It's that easy here. <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy. All you have to do is join and push a button. <laughs> Dude, kidding. easiest sim system ever. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, just, just one other little final thought, like, of course, this is a business. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, I mean, if you really want to do it right, uh, it will take knowledge and it will take time and it will take skill. And, you know, we, we don't want people to just join and feel like it's the lottery. And, you know, you can get in and get sales like that. We do have that set up. Uh, but we would love to attract people that, you know, really want to build a, an amazing income, an amazing lifestyle, amazing relationships, change the world. You know, I, I love the idea. That's another thing that I love about home business is this idea that when people get in, one of the things that they discover is that in order to grow their income, they have to grow as people. And so personal development is an integral part of building a successful home-based business. And I like to think that as people grow, not only do their incomes grow, but their families grow, their communities grow, the world grows, the world becomes a little bit more enlightened as people get on this, this road to personal development. And so, you know, our community, of course, you know, uh, gr great income, great products. Uh, did I mention we pay every Friday? So like fast pay, I mean, literally you can join, make a sell and get paid as soon as next Friday. And we've got fast start strategies we can share with you that, that, can, that can help you do that. But this tree in our community, you know, it's, it's a symbol of transformation that to be prosperous, to be a prosperous human being, transformation is an important part of that journey. And so we like to think that everyone who gets plugged in, you know, we're all seeds and we're all growing. And, you know, Amy is as amazing as she is, she's gonna be even more amazing six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, and same for me. And isn't, isn't that the kind of community you wanna be around? Like people that are, daily growing, daily learning, being open-minded, not closed-minded, looking for solutions rather than problems. I mean, the, the effect that this can have on a person's life is just astounding. You, you, you can't even put it in words. I mean, the money, yeah, that's awesome. You know, like freedom and buying the things you want to buy and, you know, not, ha not having to be told what to do by a boss, like, like some tyrant ruling over your life, you know? Like that's, that's how I felt when I had a job. I had a tyrant ruling over my life. I felt like a slave. Like we can get rid of all of that. The, the potential to get rid of all of that is there. But then think about the potential there is to literally change the world. Like, like, I mean, I don't think I'm alone in looking out in the world and seeing all the problems. I mean, we, we look for solutions, right? But there are problems, you know? And like, sometimes I get, I get, you know, I don't want to say depressed, but you know, like, man, there's a lot of stuff going on and why can't things be better? You know, like why, why can't people get along better? Why can't people be more tolerant of each other? Why can't there be more, you know, charity out there, people helping people? Like, why, why can't there be more enlightenment? And the answer is there can be that. And, and I feel that we've got, a, we've, got a, we've got an affiliate program, an income opportunity, a set of products that can be a vehicle for not just producing money in people's lives, but a vehicle for enlightenment where we, we literally can change the world. I believe that. Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, concerned citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And, and how's the world gonna change if we don't decide to do it, to, 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 to get started, to, to grow ourselves, to work on our own ignorance and eliminate it, you know? Um, and so, you know, that, that's just my ramblings of what I see in the academy. More of what I see is we really can make the world a better place through getting people on this, on this path. So Absolutely. that's it. 
Absolutely. There's, I can't think of a better place to be. I saw a message today too. We have a Facebook group community too that you can be a part of once you join. Um, and one of my new members just got paid and he said he was amazed because he got paid the full amount. No admin fees, no. <laughs> He's like, that's never happened before, you know, because it is, you know, we, we get paid like clockwork every Friday directly into our bank account without any extra fees or anything. And, and like you were saying, Paul, like one of the ways that we are changing the world, I know from, um, for myself, I've been committed to living a lifestyle um, of freedom since I was pregnant for the first time with my older daughter, who's now 15 years old. So I've been doing this for that long. And my kids have never seen me go to a job. They have seen me struggle to succeed, but stand in my commitment to work for myself. And I've never missed a beat in their lives. I volunteer at the school during the day. I can show up and eat lunch in the cafeteria with my kids. I show up on birthdays at the school with cupcakes. I um, you know, I travel for the travel sports with my kids. Um, I feel really, really sorry for the kids at the, the last school that we were at before we moved from Colorado. They would have like plays and shows in the middle of the school day sometimes, which was fine for me because I would just walk up to the school and be there because I, I can. But a lot of people can't. They're at work. They can't show up in the middle of the day and watch their kid perform. And I felt so sorry for those parents and I felt so sorry for those kids that don't have that freedom. So that's the thing that, that drives me is to, to be able to not only, you know, my kids don't even know what it's like to have, you know, my, my ex-husband is also an entrepreneur, so they don't even know what it's like to have like absent parents. But mm -hmm. for me to also help other parents to be able to have this type of a lifestyle, that's what motivates me. Mm -hmm. And how much and is that's that worth? I mean, for your kid, like your kids to, my kids have experienced the same thing. Like dad's just always home, you know, like mm -hmm. he's just always there. If they, I took my kids out to my in-laws today, they were going to go hang out with their uncle 10 o'clock in the morning. Dad, can you take me? Sure. Why not? You know, like how priceless is that for kids mm -hmm. to have their parents home with them? You know, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. yep. And for you to do what you're doing and succeed, like you're succeeding as a single mom currently uh, really just blows my mind. It is so inspiring. Um, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's, I'm just so grateful for this, this community and this opportunity because I've been a part of a lot of things over these years. Um, and like Paul said, a lot of the things have gone out of business or changed ownership or the integrity of the company was lost or the, the, the compensation plan wasn't enough to feed my family with or whatever. Like we have it all here. And um, so I'm just really, really grateful to, you know, for you guys for starting this, this community and I'm really, really grateful to be a part of it. And I'm really proud to invite people into it. I love that. Proud. <laughs> like, how cool is that? Like, I'm proud too, you know, like to have something you're actually proud of rather than ashamed of, you know, because <laughs> we've all experienced that, you know, there's like the stigma over home business sometimes. And, and uh, yeah, I feel the same. It's, I'm, I'm really proud it's to be a easier part of to it. succeed when you're passionate and proud about what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. You know right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You know, and I love that it's an affiliate program because I personally like to get paid on my own efforts, not yeah. trying to motivate other people to do stuff so that I can get paid on their efforts. I've done that. I've succeeded at that. But I know that, you know, I am in control over my efforts. And if I can get paid based on what I do, then I have a lot more control over how much income I can make. And like Paul broke it right. down before, you know, 30 people in the HBA premium product, that's a hundred dollars per month Per person plus if they own the funnel builder that's even it's even more but i mean if if you you know you can break down the math and say this is exactly what i need to do to hit my income goal three thousand yep. dollars a month is 30 people like it's not rocket science and then you, you know i know what i need to do i need to push that button <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that was easy isn't yeah. that what the <laughs> and i don't even really do that much of that 
I don't you know, either. Not that I much. do mostly, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. But I know like if I'm consistent, this stuff just, it just works. And I, you know, anyway, I love that it's um, an affiliate program and not a multi-level personally. Yeah. I prefer that. So I like that too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, cool. thank you so much for being here, Paul, for all the value that you shared tonight. Thanks for um, the opportunity, Amy. Absolutely. And thanks for all your leadership and doing these uh, live or these webinars every week for people. Yeah, it's my pleasure. And um, thank you for everybody that came live. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. If you have questions, even if you're watching the replay, you can put them in the comments below and we'll make sure to get them answered. And we really hope to see you guys inside. You can click the button below. It'll take you to a, um, an overview page where you can see Paul and Mike will break down the funnel builder in more detail for you there. And you can, um, I recommend just do yourself a solid and spend $25 and get in there and see what it is. Um, a solid. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a knuckle bump in advance for doing yourself a solid <laughs> welcome welcome to the team <laughs> yeah. welcome to the family as we like to say yeah and we have fun here yeah our, our our trip got canceled because of the quarantine but we were supposed to go to vegas we were we'll have to plan that <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right. Well, we will talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Soon. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Always go for dreams.